What became of Otis Wharton? Merge it. You may ask, Mr. Gowdy. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. Look at the fat one there. I bet you anything he's the one that ate assheads men. I told you it was a monster. Look at the size of that son of a bitch. I bet you anything your man's in his belly right now. You watch your mouth. Quiet. Both of you. This is cool, man. No, let's take them out. I'll prove to you. If they couldn't have eaten Yeah, how you gonna do that? I'll cut them. I'll cut them from here to here. I like it. It's not the undead that should be scaring us. There's someone out there. Oh, great, we've been in this goddamn forest a half a day. And we've already seen a zombie and now a stranger? This trip is so screwed. Shut up. What do you look like? I don't know. He had a white flag. Yeah, or he's trying to appear harmless, you know, to lure people in, and all of a sudden, bam! God damn it. One of these days, your trust is gonna get us all killed. I'm like, fucking God, you did not just say don't take this personally. So what, it's business? Are you on fucking meds? This isn't easy for me. Oh, and I'm having a blast. What am I, what am I supposed to do? I mean, honestly, what am I supposed to do right now? I don't know. Am I supposed to congratulate you? Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? I don't know. Am I supposed to feel guilty? Am I supposed to think this is somehow all my fault? No! Then what? I don't know. This is all very confusing. Confusing? Yes! <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's actually pretty simple, isn't it? How is it simple? All you gotta do is make a choice. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You just have to decide who it is that you wanna be with. That doesn't solve anything. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It's me or him, girl. It's that simple. Came up on his right side, gun at the ready. I fired a shot right to his head. I seen his eyes kind of flinch closed, and his head opened up like a ripe melon or something. Some policemen tackled me, and I immediately let the gun go and made my body go limp so they knew I was giving up. I'd already killed him. I knew that, so I didn't want the policemen to get hurt. I'm laying on the ground, being cuffed. I look over and I can see the blood coming out of that fucker's eyes, nose, mouth. He was still alive, but just barely. While we was laying on the ground, he died. I watched him die. About a week later, they buried my daughter while I was still locked up in Bell County Jail. I guess that's about it.